What's up guys, Scott Lett here, owner of Iron City Power Washing. Um, just finished up a 950 commercial job, knocked it out in a couple hours, um, then went and ran a couple of estimates. Uh, we are now booked through mid-May, and the way things are looking, we're going to be starting that really big commercial job um, mid-May, and it'll probably last until mid-June. It's a huge job. But what I want to talk about in this video is just really just about commercial power washing. Um, just a few tips, things that I've learned um, over the past few years. I've really you know, gotten into the more uh, commercial side of power washing. Um, it's a totally different beast. Um, it's not as simple as it sounds. Um, it's a little bit more laid back um, as far as your client goes because it's not their personal property. It's usually a project manager or uh, property management company, um, facilities coordinator, you know, someone who's dealing with you and it's their job to hire you. It's not their personal property. So there's a little bit more lenience there. Um, but still means you do good work because a lot of times project managers know other project managers, uh, property management companies know other property management companies, you know, um, and that's just kind of how it works. Um, and these guys who do those type of things, manage properties, um, they all know each other and they talk like apartment complexes. They're all usually a part of a, an association. You do a good job, they're gonna make a post about it and other apartments are gonna call. So, um, commercial work. You know, I've had, I've had a lot of guys call me. I mean, this is very surprising and say, hey man, you know, I, I really want to hop into the commercial power washing side of things. I really don't want to um, worry about residential. You know, and I'm just like, hmm. And, you know, my question is, you know, how much experience do you have? Oh, um, well, I'm just now getting into the industry. Guys, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, um, if you don't have any experience in power washing at all, soft washing, if you haven't spent any time in the residential world, you're not gonna make it commercial, okay? Residential is where you learn. Um, it's where you learn um, skills as far as soft washing, uh, surface cleaning, um, just basic cleanings, okay? Dealing with customers. Um, residential world, I mean, you're dealing with someone new every property you touch, and that's only going to um, equip you um, to get in front of these bigger jobs, right? So really spend some time in residential before you think you're ready to hop into commercial. And there's a lot of reasons why, uh, but you need experience. You need the proper equipment, okay? If you're going out here and cleaning these big properties, you know, minimum five and a half gallon per minute machine. Um, I re recommend eight gallons per minute, 10 gallons per minute machines um, for commercial work. Okay, you don't want to show up with a four gallon or smaller. It's going to take you forever, you know. And I've had guys like, yeah, man, I landed this apartment complex for $10,000. Um, I'm probably going to be out there all month, you know, but man, I got a $10,000 job. But flip side of that is you're going to be out there a month, okay? Um, $10,000 sounds like a lot, but I mean, if you're driving out there for a month, if you're using chemicals for a month, I mean, that $10,000, your profit is only going to go down, you know, the more time you spend out there. So that's why I encourage guys, if you can turn over a $10,000 job in a week, a week and a half, move on to the next one, or you can implement residential jobs, you know, as you're completing the commercial job, which is what we do, um, then you're going to be more profitable. Okay. So try not to get too caught up. I mean, I got this $10,000 job for the month. Um, you know, that might be really good for some of you guys starting off, but you more seasoned guys, you need to be able to turn over commercial jobs quickly. Um, you shouldn't spend a whole month on a $10,000 commercial job because your profit continues to go down each week. So just something to think about. Um, commercial properties, the first thing you want to look for um, and ask about is water. Like, what is your what is your water situation where are the water connections you know some some of these um, commercial properties they they're gonna ask you do you supply your own water if that question is asked 
I don't do the job. Uh, there has to be water on site. I'm not hauling water up and down a highway, you know, going back to my shop, filling up. Just, I just don't, I just pass on those jobs. Um, so make sure you know where your water sources are, okay? Um, sometimes there's only one. Sometimes you have to tap into a fire hydrant. So that should be one of the first questions you ask. Um, there's just so much. I'm just trying to get my, my thoughts together. But because commercial is so much different than residential. Um, you usually don't get paid for a while. I mean, you could go uh, do a job, knock it out in a week, send in your invoice, and it could be a month before you see that check. So that's another reason why we continue to um, do residential jobs is because if we do just commercial jobs, I mean, yes, it's nice when you get paid, but there's gonna be some major gaps in between when you get those checks. So it's nice to continue to do residential work because usually most of the time, once you finish up a residential job, you get paid right then and there. That's why we like to continue to do residential jobs in the mix um, of commercial. So um, just just realize that, guys. And, it, and it's hard to go out there and knock out a $40,000, $30,000, dollars job, send an invoice, and then you got to sit there and wait. You got to wait 30 days. Sometimes it takes longer. Sometimes it's 60. So just realize it's just it's a waiting game. All right, it's just part of it. It's the nature of commercial work, okay? Um, when you send in an estimate, guys, for commercial work, it could be a month, it could be six months, it could be a year before you hear anything back. The commercial world, there's always a chain of command. Um, the invoice has to go up to, and then someone, I don't know how it works, finally makes a decision, okay? Um, so, just realize when you send an, in, or an estimate in for a commercial job, it's it's gonna take a while, okay, for them to make a decision, especially if they're getting multiple estimates, which most bigger corporations, construction companies, property management companies, they're gonna get multiple estimates, okay? Um, which brings me to another topic, your estimate, your bid for a job, okay? It's not always based on the price, all right? Um, it's based on how you carry yourself, how you speak, how you present yourself, explaining your process. That's why every commercial opportunity we get to bid on, I show up and I dress nice, I wear a collared shirt, I look decent, um, I speak well, I explain my process, I'm always 15 minutes early, um, I do everything I say that I'm going to do. Um, I send them a very detailed, um, thorough estimate um, through Jobber. Um, I give them dates of when we can start. I ask them, hey, would you like me to go ahead and send over our COI and our W-9? And I let them know, hey, we have a lot of coverage. Um, and that way that gives them a peace of mind of knowing, hey, if we hire this company, they already have the, the coverage we require. Which brings me to another topic, guys. Um, that's another reason why you new guys can't really do these commercial jobs because you don't have the commercial insurance to knock out these jobs. I'm talking about commercial insurance on your vehicle. Your equipment needs to be covered. The liability, workers' comp, um, umbrella, all these things, they're going to require you to have. They're going to send you a sample COI. Um, and you have to match their numbers to get the job. And if you can't match those numbers, you're gonna either have to pay out of pocket and spend a lot more money um, to even come compliant with their requirements, or you can't do the job. Um, which that's become a huge competitive advantage for us is we we dished out a lot of money to do that $30,000 job beginning of the year, but that's put us in a position to where we have so much insurance where we can do just about any job out there now. So, um, so you newer guys who are new to the game, you know, you may get that big call for a commercial job, um, go get a quote and then even get the job. And then, okay, next thing we need is your COI, your certificate of insurance. And you may only have a million dollars, you know, in liability and they're requiring three. You know, now you gotta pay more out of pocket to get compliant. Now they're requiring workers comp. You don't have that because you're just a single. There's, it's you. It's by your. You're by yourself. Um, 
sometimes they'll buy, bypass that a lot of times they won't so now you're paying out of pocket for all these things now you're spending so much money um, your profit margin is just not there so the job becomes almost not worth it to you so there's just so many obstacles guys that you have to overcome in the commercial world it's like a, it's just like the 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 rabbit and the tortoise or the hare and the tortoise the 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 rabbit man it's just the residential world is just boom 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 paid 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 the commercial world is just like the tortoise man it is slow slow moving everything is just slow okay um you go out and give an estimate it could be a month before you hear back anything okay you got the job you've been rewarded the job um when can we start okay let me get back with you it could be another month before they tell you when you can start um you do the job okay now you have to wait another month before you even get paid um so it's just it's a headache commercial work is a headache but you can make a lot of money doing commercial work but just realize um it's just a totally different world than residential okay and you have to have the insurance you have to have the equipment you have to have the experience to make it worth your time okay don't just hop into this industry and think you can just take on these commercial jobs because um, there's a lot to it and then there's the logistics side planning which is a whole nother video so this video guys is mainly for you newer guys appreciate the residential world go out there and learn um, get familiar with residential work get familiar with your equipment make upgrades and um, just learn guys learn how to interact with customers um, and spend some time in the residential world for a year or two and then slowly move into the commercial world slowly bump up your insurances um, that'll only better prepare you for the commercial world because you know even being five six years into this thing I am still learning things about the commercial process and every company is different so but that's my advice to you guys that is the biggest difference between commercial and residential work, work. Um, but I'm here to help you guys. Um, so that's it. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day. Scott Lett, Iron City Power Washing.